what till the baby birth is achieved. After baby birth, it uh, level start decreasing. But till the baby birth, it will just go on increasing, increasing in the blood. And this is called positive feedback mechanism. Less all the other hormones follow negative feedback mechanism. Now here we are finished with the chapter. Let's revise all the contents that we have studied in the chapter. Firstly, we started with glands and the types of glands. The types of glands were the duct gland called exocrine gland and the ductless gland called endocrine gland. Amongst the endocrine gland, we studied the locations of various endocrine glands present in our body and the four special endocrine glands that we have to study that we were present in our syllabus that were pituitary gland, thyroid gland, adrenal gland and pancreas. We started with thyroid gland located in the neck region. Thyroid gland mainly was producing hormone thyroxine that was involved in regulation of beta basal metabolism and body growth. The under secretion of thyroxine was causing three diseases that was cretinism, mixed edema and simple goiter. Whereas the over secretion was causing exophthalmic goiter also known as Graves disease. Then we started with adrenal gland that were located on the top of the kidneys like caps. The adrenal gland were having two regions that was outer cortex and inner medulla. The cortex region mainly produces glucocorticoids and mineral corticoids, mainly responsible for metabolism of glucose and minerals. There was one more corticoid present that was gonadocorticoids that was releasing the male and female sex hormones but in very less quantities so was having very little significance. Medulla region mainly releases adrenaline that was also known as emergency hormone and mainly responsible for uh, the preparation of body under the emergency conditions. Then we started with pancreas which is a mixocrine gland or the mixed gland having uh, exocrine as well as endocrine uh, regions. The endocrine part of the pancreas was called isolates of pancreas having three types of cells that were alpha cells, beta cells and delta cells. Alpha cells release or releases hormone glucagon, beta cells releases hormone insulin, whereas delta cells releases hormone somatosterone. Alpha cells releases glucagon. Glucagon hormone is mainly responsible for increasing the blood glucose level, whereas insulin was mainly responsible for decreasing the blood glucose level. So, lower is the secretion of insulin, there will be more blood glucose level which is resulting into a disease called diabetes mellitus, also called as sugar diabetes. Coming towards the next category of hormone that was the last one and the most important one, a uh, gland that was pituitary gland that is a master gland. Pituitary gland is located in the brain below hypothalamus and pituitary gland was having three regions that was anterior lobe of pituitary gland posterior lobe of pituitary gland and inter intermediate lobe of pituitary gland. Anterior lobe of pituitary gland releases three hormones that were prolactin, mainly responsible for ejection of milk from the memory glands. The second one was growth hormone, also called as somatotropin, mainly responsible for body growth and the lower secretion of which causes dwarfism and higher secretion of which causes acromegaly and gigantism. Then the, uh, one more category was tropic hormone. Tropic hormones were the hormones that controls the secretion of all the other endocrine glands. Tropic hormones were TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone, ACTH, adrenocorticotropic hormone and gonadotropins that is follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone. Posterior lobe of pituitary gland releases two hormones that was vasopressin that is ADH and the second one is oxytocin. Vesopressin is responsible for water reabsorption through the kidney tubule. If vesopressin is released in lesser quantities, then the person will release lot of water through kidneys and the disease is called diabetes insipidus, also called as water diabetes. Oxytocin, also called as birth hormone, mainly responsible for increasing uterine contractions for the baby birth. The contractions of the uterus increases due to hormone oxytocin till the baby birth is achieved. Oxytocin is also responsible for increasing uh, the milk secretion from the memory glands. And the last uh, 
hormone that was from the intermediate lobe that was MSH that is melanocyte stimulating hormone mainly controlling the release of melanin. Thank you students. I hope you understood the topic well.